Hey everyone, so I'm really excited to show you about this new Pokemon Go Radar app. It's available right now in the App Store. All you've got to do is just open your app and as you can see it's near the top of the charts under free for me. And once you've finished downloading the app, all you have to do is open it up and once you open the app up you'll start getting images like this. And this is what it'll look like when you open the app. As you can see there's Pokemon nearby and all you have to do is move it around and more Pokemon will load in for you. But if this is looking way too cluttered, you can simply go into options at the top right and choose common Pokemon and you can start to tick them off. And you can choose your Pidgeys and you can get rid of them and it'll make it a lot easier to see more rare Pokemon. And before I forget, you will have to go back into the options and click on the hide common Pokemon or you will still be able to see the common Pokemon that you have selected. So now, when I go back to the original map, you will see there's a lot less clutter and you can start to see more of the rare Pokemon spawning in the area. Now from this point on, there is two different options. The first option is, if you simply tap on one of the Pokemon, it will show up its name and how long it's got until it despawns. And no, I did not get to the Aerodactyl in time and I was a little bit hurt. So, as for the second option, simply head back into the settings and towards the bottom of it you will see a show time and if you simply press that it will show the time of the Pokemon's despawns but it will show all of them and it does get a little bit cluttered and the option below I believe you can set it so it shows it in seconds rather than the time that you've got showing at the top of your phone and as you can see once I go back to the Pokemon Go Radar app you can see all the timers and despawns of all the Pokemon in the area I hope this video has helped out and good luck catching more Pokemon and if you want to see more of these videos please like and subscribe. I would like to show you some of the Pokemon I've managed to collect throughout the weeks of playing Pokemon Go. So I've been playing for almost a month now I believe it is and I've reached level 22, well halfway through 22 and of course I am Team Mystic. I'd only had one 10 kilometer egg since uh, level 22 so I was so happy to get this one here. I literally had me curl fend walking around the block for about 20 minutes trying to hatch it. And I'm going to show you guys what I received from this 10 kilometer egg. So after all that walking I managed to hatch the egg and I received a pincer. And I was so happy I was jumping around and everything. And it turned out to be the strongest Pokemon I had even beating my Volperion. Which I received from a 10 kilometer egg as well. Now these are some of the Pokemon I've managed to hatch and catch throughout the month. Now these first two Pokemon are both from 10 kilometer eggs. Yes, I was a little bit upset about the Eevee. I wanted something like a Snorlax, but what can you do? The Pinsir, I really was happy though. I was glad I got a Pinsir. As for these next Pokemon, that Clefable right there, I actually managed to catch from the wild, which was pretty amazing. And for the Gloom as well, I just honestly cannot wait to evolve it and see what level it turns into in the next transformation. So far, I've managed to catch 84 of the Pokemon out of 151. Keep watching and I'm going to try and complete that Pokédex as soon as possible. I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Goodbye!